Good morning ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. P with Mr. P Explorers and today we are hailing you from a relatively warm December day in Cleveland, Ohio where we investigate the Cleveland Aquarium. Not the new Cleveland Aquarium that was built several years ago, but the very old Cleveland Aquarium which is now falling apart and which you can see before you. Uh, this building closed in the 80s and it's been falling apart ever since. It's a pretty standard place to come visit in Cleveland if you're a urban explorer and we are going to take you through this place and show you what's left of the place. Uh, sadly, as you can see here as we pan around, it's seen better days. But, let's take a look at what's left. All these old exhibits. strange thing to be here for me because my father at one point had come here. Uh, I believe, I want to say this place opened in the 50s, the late 50s, possibly early 60s, and when it was built it was this fantastic new modern building built for the times. And now of course it's what you see now. kinds of junk in here. Desks, benches, you name it, old TVs. There is a mess of stuff in here. Old pumping equipment from the old aquariums. And here we have what might be the old break room, probably. best part of this aquarium is the giant atrium we're entering into. This used to have exhibits and tanks all throughout, with some cool paintings on the walls. the old power hookups for the old pumps and the old tanks here. The most iconic paintings you'll see in here is the giant shark on the wall. A lot of the photos you'll find online have this picture. Kind of sad how things turned out. Now of course there is a new aquarium in Cleveland down at the Cleveland Powerhouse which is much more modern and thriving and many Clevelanders have forgotten that this place even exists. Apparently the Great White Ninja was also here. I'm gonna assume these desks were used at one point for classes or education. Kids might come here on a field trip. We have the old pumping equipment here, where the water used to flow through. And these rickety old steps were probably where they fed the fish from, on top of that platform over there, I'm going to assume. And 
heading further into the aquarium. This was the entrance way, probably where you paid. And what's really cool here is this old typewriter just sitting on this desk. This would have been the old entrance where you'd come in the building. There is a courtyard out there. It's all locked off. We can't get to that. But as you can see, this is very open to the elements. What's sad is the city of Cleveland probably could have rescued this place and done something with it. And I know the hope of a lot of local folks was that this would be bought by the Cleveland Metro Parks and perhaps renovated, turned into a nature center, that kind of thing. It would probably require a lot of work, a lot of money. I don't see that happening anytime soon. So unfortunately, this place sits as is. But at least we can come in here and explore it for you guys. When's the last time I took a drink here? All right, moving further into the facility. Lots of old paperwork, old exhibits that have been boarded up. Somebody obviously threw a lot of these chairs in there. access to the courtyard. You might be able to see what's out there. Some old staff lockers. The saddest thing is that this was once a place where kids came, people came to have a good time on a, on a cold Sunday in the winter, see some fish, check out some octopus, that kind of stuff. And now this is the remainder. So if you have memories of being here, it's probably much different than you recall. I unfortunately was never able to come here. I believe it closes in the mid eighties. And all of the fish were sent to Cleveland Metro Park Zoo on the west side of Cleveland. And this was left to Sebagan. As you can see, this whole section is caving in. Not the safest of places. area looks to have been a supply area perhaps behind the scenes storage fish food who knows uh, the neat thing about this building is it's much older than the actual aquarium this was once a a nature center for Gordon Park back before they built I-90 right outside this was one giant park and this was part of a nature center in the early days of that park employee showers and restroom. If you had a grubby day at the aquarium, you could wash off before you went home. And finally the boiler area. Most of the entrances and exits have been welded shut. Uh, for a long time, the Cleveland Police Department used this for its canine training. Oh, 
baseball mitt. It's a sad piece of Cleveland history left behind here. Future uncertain. Hopefully someday something will be done with this before it completely collapses. Odds are though it's probably going to be demolished at some point and just bulldozed and that's it. memories for that matter. If you have any memories from this place, any stories you'd like to share, please do so in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And that's going to be it for Mr. P on this somewhat decent December day, which is kind of an oddity for this time of year. So if you enjoyed the video, by all means, leave a comment below, like the, like the channel, Share it with your friends. And as I'm always want to say, keep on exploring wherever you go and document everything.